Hello, welcome to this Get Blended video on Manipulate Centers Only. So what is it? Where are you going to find it? How can you use it? Most people find out about this by accident because it's this little button next to the pivot point selector on the header here. So with that checked, if you attempt to rotate a single object in object mode, it kind of looks like nothing is happening. And it's the same with scale as well. If I press S to scale, it looks like nothing is happening. So this tool is used in object or pose mode when you have multiple objects selected. So let's duplicate our cube a couple of few times. And now if we select them with shift and right click, we'll see that the manipulators are located in the center of the selection. That's due to our pivot point selection being median point here, which is the default. Now with manipulate centers only ticked, if we rotate now, we'll see them rotating around that point, but we're not changing their local orientation at all. So we're manipulating them by their centers, if you will, by their origins. And it's the same with scale, so if we could scale them towards or away from that point, but we're not changing the object scale themselves. So we could use this in quite a number of ways. For example, if we wanted to align all our cubes along a certain axis, we could go S, Z, and then zero, say, and that would align all the object origins along the center point. We could change our pivot point here to be, say, the active element. The active element is that which was selected last. So you can choose that with uh, just holding down shift and right mouse there to change your active element. And then we could scale, say, along the x-axis to zero, and that would align all of our objects with that particular active element. So that's the point is really that it's aligning the object's origins. So in that regard, it might not be useful if you wanted to do, uh, let's add a plane here, turn off that so we can act, we can say that this is like a floor. And so if we select this, these and then select our floor last with manipulate centers only checked and active element as our pivot point, we could attempt to S and then Z and we could see how they're dropping to the floor now, but obviously they're dropping towards the the origins. So there's a there, just as a point of interest, there's a way to do the drop to floor using the align option, which is in the object menu here, transform align objects. And we get a few options over here in the operator panel. So align along the Z axis using the centers or origins as the as as, as the align mode. That does exactly the same as manipulate centers only did. But we can actually change that to the negative sides here, and that takes the bottom sort of face, the lowest face of the object, as the aligning mode there. So a couple of points of interest there, and hopefully that removes some confusion about having one object selected when it might not appear to do anything when rotation and uh, scaling is trying to be used.